good morning guys um, my mom is taking me to I'm going to a meeting this morning um, for uh, continuing medical education it's a dermatology conference uh, talk here in Galveston uh, with the uh, Texas Dermatologic Society it's a lecture that I'm going to today and uh, I've got my chauffeur here hi everybody yeah. happy Saturday so so yeah that's what's on the docket this morning and what are you gonna do? You're gonna read your book? I've gotta finish the last hundred pages of Shell Seekers. I've been putting that off because oh, I know good. it's gonna be sad. It's good, um, yeah. So I, I have a lawn chair in the back uh -huh. that I got for Mother's Day. Uh -huh. Look at the pretty flowers. And I'm gonna sit somewhere and read my book, possibly on the beach, or in a park, or in a coffee shop, who knows. And you finish the bell Balducci book. Yeah, huh? I finished that. It's, uh, it was good? Um, yeah, it was my first uh, one of his. Yeah. And um, it's, it's okay. Mansion. Gosh, look, you need to film these. Yeah, this is downtown historic Dow Galveston. They have a lot of pretty uh, old Can historic homes. The Bishop's Palace. Yeah, this I've always wanted to go in. Look how pretty it is. Oh, they're putting up the tree. They have a Dickens Christmas Festival or something here. You can go in there. The Bishop's Palace. Look, guys. All right, I got a good shot. Right in quarter of a mile, we're gonna turn left. I know that there's that. Isn't that built building pretty? It's really unique. It's like there's a dollhouse. A gargoyle mm -hmm. on the. And we're going by uh, something called the Sacred Heart. Sacred Heart. My mom was waiting to finish the last 100 pages of Shell Seekers until I finished it. <laughs> she said, I didn't want to like let go of it, but it's a good book. I'm enjoying uh, Fates and Furies. That's what I'm reading currently. My current hardback back book. It's pretty good. Um, I'm, I'm really getting into it a little bit more now. I still feel as though uh, the Shell Seekers is with me. I don't want to let it go. Yeah, we're we're about to the beach here. Um, wings, we go. This is where I turn, or do I go around? Yeah, I turn here. Turn here, I guess. So it says University yeah. of Texas Medical Branch. Yeah, the meetings here at UT, the University of Texas Medical Branch at Galveston. So they have a medical school out here called UTMB, which. <laughs> I applaud the medical students for being all the way out here with the hurricane season. It must be kind of scary. <laughs> but I've never been uh, been over here before, so we're going to look for the building. My mom will drop me off, so that is what's going on. and I had really enjoyed the talks this morning. Um, there was one on a hair condition called uh, trichorexis nodosa. I'll try and insert a little thumbnail of it. Um, but it reminded me, because you guys are always uh, asking me about hair care stuff, and it's associated with, uh, you know, heat styling the hair. It's one of the hair abnormalities that you can actually see under the microscope if you take the hair. And it's described as looking like if you take two the brushes of paint brushes and you take two paint brushes and, and mash the brushes together, that's what, what uh, your hair shaft looks like and that leads to hair breakage. That can be the result most often of um, you know hair care practices like teasing, combing, uh, flat ironing, and it leads to hair breakage. There are also some um, genetic diseases that have it as well and that their the hair cuticle is a little bit weaker but for the most part in the overwhelming majority of cases it has to do with uh, with hair practices but yeah it was really good um, really good talks this morning and my mama went on what'd you do Woo! tell I them what you did great time. I mm -hmm. took a little cruise uh -huh. on the ferry boat yeah um, I just walked on and you go across to this little island here mm -hmm. And it was so pleasant. Um, 
And there were all these pods of dolphins swimming along with us. Cool. Which really made it worthwhile. Then I took an hour long walk on the beach. Mm -hmm. And then I went to an estate sale. Okay. And by that time, it was time to go get you. Yeah. Um, I did it, not read my book, which I needed to do. That's okay. Yeah, yeah, you didn't. <laughs> that's okay. But I didn't have fun. I was having too much fun. <laughs> it's hard to let go of the shawl seekers. It was a beautiful but you're gonna enjoy. day, though. And so my mom has made us lunch out of, uh, she tried a recipe from the book that she got last week at the library, the, the vegan slow cooker one. She made us the split pea and apple soup and it smells really good. Um, this is, this looks like, uh, one of my crock pot cook downs here. Um, it, did you use coriander? I used everything that it called for. Oh, wow. The only thing, um, it wants us to puree. Oh yeah, skip I that. <laughs> I like it chunky. Yeah, yeah, I like it so, chunky. And then we're having you got this at Costco, the organic strawberry harvest yeah. vegetable salad. That looks good. And I this is the cheese, so we won't eat that. Yeah. But here's the dressing. Oh, okay, came with the strawberry, and I'm gonna have ACV on mine. Yeah, it's got nuts. What are these little? Oh, is that sesame? Read the package, honey. I'm not. I want to It just sure. says toppers. Quinoa crisp. Quinoa oh, crisp. Good. That looks good. Cool. Yeah, and then I wanted to. And then some you got us some. Pita triangle. Oh, okay, you're gonna make us I'm some pita chips. I'm without toast in mine. Do you want them toasted? I won't. I, I'm good. I don't need that. Okay. So. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to make a little thing to dip in. Um, what are you burning here? That is the spice pear. Smells nice. And you guys, while my mom does that, got a new um, acquaintance in our lives, the two of us, um, that uh, is living with my mom currently. And um, <laughs> so here it is. Look what I got my mom, guys. She has her own Totoro mug. <laughs> It's How my cute. color too. She has her own Totoro mug. <laughs> she got orange. I almost think hers is kind of cuter than mine. Hers just by cup talk in it. Mine doesn't say that, but I got it on Amazon. I'll link it down below for I you guys. Love but, it, but I haven't used it yet. Yeah. Today I will though. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have some of that nice uh, chai tea. Cool. Um, and I also got her this um Needle, um, I saw this and I thought of her. It's a needle case with Scotties and Westies because she had a Scotty and a Westie once upon a time, so it's cute. That'll be the next project on the, on the That'll be your reward if you um if make you that crochet pot, pot holder. Yes, ma I know. <laughs> you don't have to make the pot holder, but I don't know. Everybody in YouTube is expecting to see it. Pressure. <laughs> And if you missed that uh, that uh, episode, I guess <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. there's a there's an elf and Santa Claus crock pot. Uh, sorry, um, pot holder, crochet pot holder. That um. yeah, these two pressure's oh, on. Yeah, she announced she would make these. So you know, I'm committed because if it I goes on you, if it goes on YouTube, you got to do it. I, I have a lot of everything I need. I just, yeah. I just have to get started but I will I think. you never said although you never said you never said vlogmas 2017 so Listen, it's it could be it could be vlogmas 2025 <laughs> stay tuned it'll get done you'll see yeah she's very uh, expeditious so. speaking of moving along on um craft projects I got uh, I cranked out two of these stars that I'm making that I want to use um to make a little centerpiece decoration for a Thanksgiving table and I'm almost through with this one um, I did that on my way here these are so easy now to whip up um, and I really like them this box I got on Amazon and um, it came from Japan it's just like a plastic box for origami paper and it's really nice the sad thing about it however is that it came in like one of those uh, mailer envelope things and it got crushed, but yeah, so it still closes and everything. I could have sent it back, but it would have had to go all the way back to Japan and I really just wanted the case and so it's cute. it works, it's fine, but yeah, I was disappointed that it broke on the way here and I'm almost on the way in the mail, but 
whatever. My mom's soup came out looking really good. I just, uh, this is the salad, um, and I, I put it in the bottom of this bowl and dumped the soup on top, because I kind of like doing it that way. I don't like having all these bowls, and then I got some celery, and um, my mom's got some nutritional Please yeast go there. Go ahead and try this. That's what the soup looks soup. like without the. Now, um, it did say to puree it, which I didn't do. I think it would look more like pea soup if it was yeah, pureed. But I, I kind of like it chunky, personally. How is it? It's flavorful. Uh -huh. I think the peas are just a tad underdone. You think so? But I'd rather have them that way than all mush. Mush, mushy, yeah. Yeah, probably uh, doing them that way and then pureeing them, maybe it's, it's less apparent. Now, um, I want to show... Uh, it did call for the uh, vegan bouillon or veggie bouillon, yeah. so this is what this I use. This stuff's a little salty, I find. Um, I looked on the thing, and it's seven, oh, 750 milligrams of salt. Oh, okay. That's high. Yeah, when I sampled it, I sampled some of that at Costco. They just mm -hmm. were making it like broth, and I thought it was really, really salty. But I don't consume But you're much only using salt. a tablespoon of it, so it's not. Yeah, yeah. In the whole thing? Yeah, it's a concentrate. Yeah, it's one teaspoon is what I But I, I think use. the Costco lady, when she made it up, I think she made it up to, to, uh, to concentrate. <laughs> what did she have it in? She just had where you could taste the broth in little cups, oh, oh. and it was really salty. I remember Well, just this, this, this taste the soup and see what you think. I did taste the soup. It doesn't taste too salty. Whew, yeah. Good. Making some more stars here, guys. <laughs> These are just so fun to do. And that soup was really good. Did you like it? I liked it. I really liked it. it yeah, you liked it as well. Yeah, we're getting our tickets for the Nutcracker. Are you excited? I'm really excited. Yeah, it's gonna go in the planner, so that means it's legit. <laughs> yeah, we have to obey the planner. That's my. I'm gonna show you a credit card. Well, hey guys. Packed day full of learning for me. I uh, had a really good experience at the uh, educational conference today. I just, uh, I love going to things like that um, and, you know, feeling like a student again. It's just really a lot of fun for me. And uh, I, I really miss uh, being a medical student a lot of the time or just being a student and uh, being kind of in, in the lecture setting and, and having books and, and learning. So I really enjoy that part of medicine, that it's an ongoing uh, kind of learning and uh, lifelong learning. So thank you guys for coming along. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the vlog today with my mom. We had a ton of fun. But exciting skincare update uh, for at least the U.S. Uh, thanks to uh, Salon Ohio, I think we have, guys, a drugstore oil-based cleanser that actually works and doesn't it, you know, isn't complete garbage. Okay, so you all uh, who may have seen the vlog the other night will recall that I got a sample in the mail of this Albaline eye makeup remover that you guys had wanted me to check out. And I'm really uh, was in, interested in this because I have yet to find an American oil, cleansing oil or cleansing balm in the American drugstores that is worth a dime, okay? The Burt's Bees one is terrible. The simple one is, you know, I don't know. I mean, honestly, I think just going into your, your kitchen pantry and, you know, scooping out a tub of Crisco, you'd be better served. Um, it's not a good one. Um, I haven't found any cleansing balms. And, uh, you know, the Clinique that, that is the most high-end one, I guess, in the U.S. that I've tried. And I wasn't blown away by that, as you all know. Um, and so far, you know, the absolute holy grail to me is the Hadalabo uh, cleansing oil. Uh, but this one, I was excited to try out because it doesn't have any fragrance in it. <laughs> Shout out! Um, it's mineral oil, petrolatum, and jojoba seed oil, and uh, a little bit of beta carotene, um, which, you know, I guess is in there for uh, who knows why. Um, but this is very no nonsense, okay? And um, okay, first impression, I obviously just used it once from this tiny little sample. It's really, I'm really pleased with it, okay? It comes out, um, I save this little tiny bit, it comes out um, kind of like a watery um, uh, oil, really, really comes out very nice. It goes on the skin really, really well. I was really impressed with how this goes on. It does 
dissolves the uh, mascara and the sunscreen uh, pretty efficiently. No aggressive rubbing. It doesn't get stuck on your skin as you're trying to spread it out. I really, really liked it. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I'm a fan of it. The uh, one thing I will say about this, um, however, is that it did stay on my skin a little bit in that I had uh, a bit of a difficult, not a difficult time, but it didn't feel as though it it uh, married, if you will, with the second step of my cleanse, uh, like the Hadalabo one does. So if you'll recall back to my oil cleansing kind of routines, uh, the Hadalabo cleansing oil just goes into the uh, the cleansers, the gentle cleansers. They, they just marry together, and it's like 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 the cleansing oil is getting I don't know swept off its feet or something, and it just whisks right off of your skin very very easily. This what made a little bit of a residual. Maybe I used too much and using the this entire little uh, postage stamp uh, aliquot. I'm not sure. Some of it did kind of uh, stay kind of in the uh, tear troughs here of my eye a little bit and uh, sort of gave me cause to, you know, do like this a little bit, uh, but definitely did a really good job breaking up the makeup. Okay, so this so far is is an American win here. Uh, doesn't quite beat Hadalabo or um, even Hamish and um, Vanillico, I like those um, as cleansing balms, but the holy grail to me is the the Hadalaba one. This one is this one's as good as America's got, as far as I can tell. I don't know if this is available to you guys in Canada um, or other countries, but I am a fan of this. I imagine it's really affordable. I have a three dollar off coupon, um, so I'd be interested to continue using this um, if I didn't have so uh, many cleansing balms to go through. But this is one that I will probably uh, seek. And and purchase myself having tried it. Um, I want to just take a moment to point out the fact that, because um, I get this question a lot, and I've said it on here before, um, this product contains mineral oil and petrolatum, okay? Both are phenomenal ingredients as moisturizers. They are not, quote, pore clogging, okay? I don't know where that um, comes from. They're, you know, they're not, okay? They're really not. Mineral oil-based uh, moisturizers and petrolatum-based moisturizers are perfectly fine in acne. Um, you know, they soften the skin very nicely. They're very uh, gentle, um, and they're very inexpensive. They're not associated with any harm to human health whatsoever. I, I say that because I continue to get these questions all the time on if I can talk about mineral oil, petrolatum, and parabens. All three of them, none of them, they don't clog pores and there is no evidence of harm to human health. They've been used in skincare products for eons, okay? So um, yeah, I will uh, I will just reiterate that over and over again. There's no reason to avoid them. Um, and they're very low allergenicity, whereas a lot of these things that, you know, broadcast on a label free of mineral oil, they're loaded with fragrance and everything else. But yeah, then you flip it over and they're loaded with fragrance and essential oils, which, <laughs> I, in all actuality, those are the most likely things to be problematic in skincare, so it's a complete subterfuge. Um, but yeah, I really like this. Comment below and if you've used it. Some of you, you know, asked me to check it out, so thank you if that was you. Thank you for sh to sharing this product with me or telling me about it. Um, thank you to the folks in Solano, Ohio for sending me this little freebie um, and the coupon. Uh, you guys can get one yourself. Just go on the website, albaline.com. Takes a while to come, but yeah, I was really, really happy with that. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog today. Um, I'm going to conclude it here. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.